Hello and welcome to part 3 of building the ultimate ghost detector. Today I will finish the electronics by combining several circuits I had built in episode 1 and 2, uh, adding a laser grid generator and a radar motion detector, designing and cutting a appropriate housing and take the finished unit to a abandoned house of the early 20th century to see if I can detect any paranormal activity. The design I am cutting here can be downloaded for free from uh, my webpage, such as the Arduino codes and uh, technical drawings. More information in the description. Now I try to keep everything as compact as possible, but still I play Tetris fitting all the PCB switches and components inside. If you attempt to build this thing at home, make the box bigger so all the components can be mounted easily and uh, do not interfere with others. The EMF and negative ion detector such as the FM ghost box don't like microwaves that are emitted by the radar motion detector, so keep this thing as far away as possible. I use a pancake method to build the housing, cutting several layers of 4mm plywood and gluing them together, until I reach the right thickness. I even added a battery compartment that fits a cheap battery pack I got from eBay for only 3 euros. Due to this pancake construction, I can install a USB plug in the perfect height so that it plugs right into the battery when sliding it in. The front plate gets a nice teak wood finish using some wood stain and a paper towel. As you may remember from part 2 of this series, I used the amplifier and speaker of a shower radio that now also needs to fit inside. Next thing is the ghost trap feature. By adding a microwave radar motion detector circuit that detects movement even through walls in a radius of about 5 meters, the green laser grid will help identifying any movement in the dark. It will be the sixth feature of my ultimate ghost detector. I ordered the radar detector online for about 6 euro 60 including shipping. It has all the components already integrated, so as the switching contact. So the last missing items to complete the build are one RCWL0516 microwave radar motion detector, a kaleidoscope laser pointer that also costs around 6 euros, and a BC557 transistor that switches the laser diode as this one draws more power than the Arduino can handle. Keep in mind that those cheap Chinese laser pointers often have a much higher output than indicated, so never look straight into the beam. By turning this little ring or the lens inside, the pattern can be adjusted to your needs. I decided to use a straight raster with uh, as much points as possible. The radar module only needs three wires, power and the switch pinout. I also added a switch to turn it on or off. Coding was pretty simple for once, uh, I only mapped the output from the detector to channel 10 to 13 of my Arduino board. Here I am measuring the output of channel 13, triggered by motion of my toe hitting one leg of the table. As those laser pointers are not meant to disassemble, I use it as is by simply sticking down the button with some gaffer tape. This laser pointer needs a current between 100 and 200 milliamps, so more than my Arduino can handle on the long term. Therefore I use this transistor. The base is connected to our pin 13 of the Arduino, the collector goes on the positive terminal of our laser diode and the emitter hooks up to ground. Arduino pin 12 connects to a 3-state switch that connects to the ghost box. The radar detector now can trigger the laser grid and uh, the spirit box when activated. Only thing left to do is to install all this stuff into our small housing, starting by inserting the knobs and switches. I added a cavity into the front panel where I can stick in a little compass that as we all know measures magnetic fields so can also give interesting readings in case of a ghostly presence.
Engraving and cutting a small acrylic plate that covers the radar module and uh, the laser lens from moisture and dust. Also, it gives the unit a little high-tech look. And there we have it, the Ultimate Ghost Detector. Combining six detection features in one steampunk wood grain portable unit. We have a negative ion detector with display, a electromagnetic field detector, a advanced spirit box with multiple scan functions, a laser grid, a magnetic compass and a microwave radar motion detector. All in all the ultimate tool for every ghost hunter. In the following minutes you will see some footage of our first test. Zweiten, dritten, das müssen wir halten.
If you liked the video, please subscribe and ring the bell for more. The winner of the free EMF detector will be announced in my next video. For more details, watch the first part of this series. Until then, see ya.